All right, so here we are in the home screen of Inventor. Now there's a lot of stuff on the screen and most of it you don't need to worry about. The only things we really care about is this open button and this new button. Um, right here is where it'll show recently opened files that you've had. If nothing shows up right here, don't worry about that. If you save something, try to come back later and it's not right here, don't worry about it. It didn't delete. We'll show you how to get it back there. So if you already have something, an assignment, a project, something you've been working on, you're going to click open and you're going to find that file and then you can click open. If you are starting for the very first time and need to start a new file, you're going to click on new. So I'm going to click on new right here. Now quick little explanation. Autodesk Inventor has four types of files you can make. A part file, an assembly file, a drawing file, or a presentation. So a part file, so I think of it like in terms of Legos, right? So one Lego brick is one part. You can make this, this is one thing all by itself. An assembly is if I took multiple parts and put them together in an assembly. So this is an example of an assembly. It's multiple individual parts all put together in a certain way. A drawing is if I wanted to make a fancy technical drawing of whatever it is I made. And a presentation is it can kind of do this little exploded view where it'll you know take it and come apart and show you stuff like that. We'll probably never do a presentation for this class, but that option is there. Now, before you start, figure out if you are working in inches or in millimeters. If you're working in the imperial system or the metric system. If you choose that before you create a file, it is way easier than trying to go back and fix it later. So you choose that by hitting this little down arrow right here. This is the right arrow right now. Click it, comes a down arrow. So these are the templates it comes with. So hit this little arrow. If I'm working in inches, I'm going to click English. If I'm working in millimeters, I'm going to click metric. So you can see all the different options that show up here. So let's start off, let's make a part file in inches. So I'm going to click new. I'm going to hit the little arrow to come down. I'm going to hit English. I don't want sheet metal. I'm not doing anything with sheet metal. So I'm going to click standard in.ipt. IPT is inventor part file. And I'm going to hit create. And now we have a blank part file that I can play around with. Um, just quick little examples of showing you right here. So this right here is an example of a part file. So again, this is one individual part. And going through all the pieces. So you start off, and we'll learn this. So I'll just kind of show you how it's made, kind of a little bit by bit. So probably that's all probably looking at the bottom side. So you can see how this part was made, kind of bit by bit. All right. So I've got a part going into an assembly. An assembly is multiple parts. And since this is a computer, we can really easily add as many parts as we need. It's just like copying and pasting. All right, so I'm just going to add a whole bunch of parts here. So that's an assembly file. A drawing is an example like this. So this is a technical drawing of a Lego brick. So you can see right here we have what's called our orthographic view. So I'm looking at the front, the top, the bottom, and the side. So my front, my top, my bottom, and my side view right there. This right here is an example of an isometric view where I take it and I look at it kind of at an angle so I can see multiple sides at a time. So that's an example of a drawing file right there. So again, home screen right here. If you ever need to get back to the home screen, there's this little house up at the top of the screen. Just go ahead and click on that and that brings you to the home screen. Open button right here, new button right here.